All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Running the Ropes right here on the SNS Radio Network and at the SNSRadioNetwork.com. Uh, Brian Maverick Bertrand with you once again with Chris Kelly, the effing foreign kid. And on the line with us today is very, very big talent out of uh, PWG and a lot of a lot of indie fans love her as well, ladies and gentlemen. Mem- one half of the world's cutest tag team, Candice LeRae. Candice, what's going on? Oh, not too much. How are you? Not uh, too bad. I'm I'm still recovering from a Super Bowl hangover. I'm very happy Super to Bowl see how it's hangover. Lost. I'm. <laughs> We're like so far in the day now. What do you? That was a long time ago. You think you I stopped? Over? You think I stopped? <laughs> <laughs> You're out of control, sir. Oh, I know I am. But anyway, so oh, what... at least you have no idea what, what you're talking about. Like to me, football is just you know rugby. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just your version of rugby, but a lot lot slower. It's, and, and it's rugby with too. pads. That's, that's oh all gosh. you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway so candace how, how's things been i mean you we've we've seen you around i've heard your name you've been on tna once and then we we you've just been in the indie circuit ever since yeah doing that i love it and also you right now forget... yes Sorry. and right now you are the reigning and defending fwe women's yes. champion Yes, I was gonna say you forgot the whole reason that I'm the whole talking to you the right whole now reason that you're talking whole, to me right now, and I totally forget the about your most important thing, and you forgot the most important. Oh, thing. I apologize. Yep. I see. See, that's what and happens I, when you I, when you I, still I, don't I, stop I, after I, the Super Bowl. Have you fired? <laughs> Let us talk. But uh, as I say, you are the you are the we were talking about FWE, and I was I I was there when you actually won the belt from from Oh Lisa, no way. Yeah, it was. Uh, I met you and Joey a few times. Uh, I've I've been to about ah. the last three FWE shows. Like, awesome. But, Good. But I'm not I'm not going to the next one. But I'm 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 actually seeing you when you come over to Southside later this month. So oh I'll yeah. Be, I'll be seeing you again. Awesome. But there's a lot of fans, you know, were angered by, by you know how you won the belt. Like for 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 people who missed it, Eva beat Maria. Like Maria had the belt for like about five years, and she lost it to Eva Lee, yeah. and out of nowhere. You came in and just took the belt. I mean, I was well, saying, fair. Not, 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 I mean, I mean to be fair, we each wrestled a competitive match that night, so we each were on the same level as far as I'm concerned. And it's, you know, I don't see, I don't see why anybody would be upset about it. I, well, I, I haven't heard any complaints. I, I think you're just making this up. I think well, he's just trying to get a scoop out of you, Candace. I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It was great how you got the belt, but I mean, he's he's trying to get something out of you. I'm just saying. And then but that whole is, that whole South know. Side. What, what he, I don't know what he's implying. I don't know what he's implying either. But <laughs> I I mean, he's all saying, "Yeah, you're coming to South Side." That means he's gonna first rounds on him, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> I'm just saying. I guess so. As a mutual fan, you come <laughs> out of nowhere. Even has just wrestled and won the belt. You come in, yes. you slide in yourself and Joey. Joey gets in, you know. Joey interferes. You win the belt. No, Joey would never do such a thing. No, no, no. Joey would never do such a thing. I, but, I know that Maria was there and she was trying to get involved, and I was just like, no, 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 don't worry about it. And then we just, I don't, I don't know what you. I Joey was just hanging out. He was there for moral support. That's all. So Joey was there for moral support, and he is. We're we're a team. That's so, that's what teammates do, moral support. But so Joey Ryan, though, I'm support, just saying. Like, because Joey's moral support did help me win because that's what partners do, moral support <laughs> for the win. And for everyone that missed it, the, the night prior it was meant to, it was meant to be Raider Scott and uh, CVE Christina Bonieri versus Candice and a, and a mystery partner. No, yeah, and a mystery partner turned out to be Joey Ryan. Super kick, of course it did. Right. I I don't know why anybody would think I would choose anybody else. I mean, um, it's insane. Yeah, but, <laughs> I mean, we all know that Jerry Ryan likes to wrestle the girls, but wouldn't it have been unfair? He's got to bring Sleazy back somehow. I wrestle men all the time. I'm just saying, you know, you got to be ready. I mean, Joey's a little... You gotta be ready. You gotta be on your toes when you're around Joey, and she should know. She should know to be on her toes around Joey. Everybody should know, but it's just you know. See that—that's what I like. Though. It's a little hard. It's a little hard. It's okay. She's fine now. She's 
she's wrestling me this upcoming show. I was nice enough to let her have a title shot. So fair is fair. We're all even now. And that is one thing that, you know, I, I've noticed. You're, in terms of experience, you've got much more experience than the, the Raiders. Scott, do you think that will come, you know, into you know, your, your advantage come the, the IPPV on Sunday? Oh, of course it's going to come to my advantage. I don't... I mean, I don't know if I gave her the title shot because they feel sorry for her or what, but, I mean, she's going to have her work cut out for her, needless to say. <laughs> well, uh... I was say, I think it's interesting that you didn't give a rematch to, to Eva the, the, the no. lady you beat for the title. Why, no. why not? She, why on earth would I do such a thing? She couldn't even hold the title for more than, what, 10, 15 minutes? So. It's that Lucha Underground schedule. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, like I say, I... She could it. <laughs> I, I, I think you've t- like. Would you say that you've t- you chosen the easier opponent? Because like you know, Eva is you know oh, well renowned no. for her MMA skills. No, no, that's absurd. No, <laughs> Eva is great. She's very talented. I'll give her that. But again, she held the belt for what fifteen minutes? Fifteen, maybe twenty. There's got to be an official record there somewhere. Somewhere. Right? Well, they'll probably, they'll probably just, relish it a little bit. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. I'll give Veda her shot at me, and that's fine. That's we're, I'm just trying to make everybody happy, that's all. I'm trying to be an honest, respectful FWE Women's Champion. But then it's you got to sell tickets. That we had one of those, right? <laughs> yeah, hey, oh, yeah, you know I mean, what? Honestly, and then the match, honestly, I think the match that you're going up against now is going to be very good. I think you guys, I think out of... The whole out of parts of the card, you're going to have one of the better matches because of the experience. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> honestly, I, I think you, I think you, you're going to be able to defend it and maybe, maybe go make it a big, bigger match than the main event. You never know. You never know. You but never it, know. Would it be just you, or will Joey Ryan be there for moral support? I, I mean, say. I'm sure we'll be there to support each other. He's wrestling. Tommy Dreamer, so I'm sure we will both be there with one another for moral support during each other's match. On occasion, on occasion, we tell the other person, no, it's okay, I got this one. Stay focused, but usually more often than not, we're there for each other, because that's what partners do. But he will be in your corner. And if he's in your corner, that means you'll be in his corner. And last time you and Dreamer were in the same same ring, I believe Dreamer got a ball flex. Excuse me. Last time, Dreamer, you were in were in the same ring. You he got a bull's plex. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Are you and expecting any retaliation from Beal at all? The little little blonde women. Let me tell you, you got balls. Oh, yeah. Watch them. Little <laughs> blonde women will throw you by them. No joke. Oh. Uh, well, you're right. I mean, I'll give you this. You are, in my opinion, underrated because I actually saw a match when it was you and Joey versus the Young Bucks, and it's and. <laughs> Uh, let's just say there was lots of blood in it, lots and lots of blood. <laughs> <laughs> and that that thing I wanted to ask you because um, that match, you know, it, on social media it got a lot of coverage for not only you winning the belt but the amount of blood that you lost. I mean, there are a lot, yeah. of, a lot of other female wrestlers that were kind of kind of unkind about about that match, to say the least. I would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything to like? To kind of, kind of, cause like your style of wrestling is different to you know your, your you know your typical blonde diva or knockout, as it were. Well, and I think that that's. I feel like times are changing. Yeah. And FWE is one of the promotions that is actually doing a great job with changing with the times, and they're bringing in a lot of women who wrestle very similarly to the way that I do. They're very tough women. And I think that, you know, there's enough of us out there that feel the same way that I do. And I don't, I don't like somebody to tell me that I can and can't do something. And yep. if I want to wrestle men, I'm going to wrestle men and I'm going to work harder if I have to. And I think that that's one of the things that I'm going to benefit from most uh, with, what FWE is starting to do with their women's division is because they're trying to 
find women who feel the same way as I do because we're going to put a more competitive match on. We're going to work harder and hopefully be one of the better women's divisions out there, which would, it makes me happy, very happy and very proud to be the women's champion there. And um, I think it was just all, all anything that I've ever done in the past is just to help women's wrestling out in general, to kind of show other women that this doesn't have to be us going out there and being the women's match like the stereotypical what it has been in the past. Mm. And like my first match, that I like the first time I ever saw you, it was at Welcome to, it was at Welcome to the Rumble, the uh, six man or uh, six intergender match with when yes. you were the mystery opponent uh, with, with Joey. And yes. I said on, on 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 that night, somehow you out young bucks the, the young bucks, like the <laughs> crowd were going absolutely crazy for you. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Like, and that crowd was very crazy like that 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 night like and you got the biggest reaction out, out of that crowd and i don't, i don't think i told you this, but all, like all i asked there and i think me me and my friend were like on our feet just in, in awe of how great you were because this is, this is the first time we've seen you wrestle live and i think people <laughs> need to check out the, you know the fwe on, on the on this on, the, on this uh saturday no limits because oh, absolutely when 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 they see you wrestle they're not going to be you know your typical female wrestler you're there to kick on take names and you do that happily. And yeah. not only that, too, you know, because you got FWE on the East Coast, and then you come over to PWG in the West Coast, so, like, you have a bigger audience that can actually see your talent in the ring, which is great. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm it, very lucky, I'm very fortunate. If you had to, to choose between crowds... The best wh- of all worlds. <laughs> if you have to choose between crowds, who do you think who do you think has the better crowd, FWE or PWG? Oh, that's impossible. That's, like... <laughs> You're comparing two completely different things, and okay, I, then. I got you're one. getting different. You know, because at at PWG, it's all when you when you go to different promotions. A lot of promotions are like they book all indie guys, and the cool thing about FWE is it's not like they kind of get the best of all worlds. They're booking the best for so that I mean, almost anybody can go. I mean. I know that when I first started watching independent wrestling, I had friends that only watched stuff on TV. And so, and but my brother and I were aware of indie wrestling, so we'd be excited about these indie guys, but it's hard to take your friends that just watch what's on TV to indie shows and try to sell them on it. But with FWE, you're kind of getting the best of everything. You're getting, you can convince your friends that have watched TV for the TV stuff for years, and you can tell them, oh, but this guy's on it. And, th- and it's either, I mean, they're great quality names, and on top of that, you get the best of your world because you're getting all the indie guys that are really talented as well. And on top of all of that, everybody's just mixed up in the jumble with each other. Like everybody, I mean, you have people that have been on TV wrestling, people that have never been on TV, but it's, I mean, it's so, it's awesome. I mean, so it's like, it's so hard to compare the two or to compare wrestling. I mean, any two crowds are so hard to compare. I love both of them. Are there and any like qualities that would set to to each one apart? Excuse like, w- is there any like uh, any nuances, any kind of qualities that set each one apart? Like, like you said, with FWE to give you the best of both worlds, and I've seen that with both uh, new talent and uh, a lot of established talent too, a lot of bigger stars. Do you, do you think there's a, a kind of a either a connection or a separation between uh, FWE and PWG in terms of what sets them apart? I think that in the grand, like, I mean, at the end of the day, like, during the show, the people are getting a great show. And if you give them a good show, they're going to love it and they're going to respond. If you're working hard and you're entertaining them, then, and they can see your passion in what you're doing, they're going to love it and they'll respond and they'll be with you. I mean, if you're just out there and you don't care and, like, they know. And so... When all of when everybody's putting on this big show and everybody's putting their all in it, and it's the same for both places, everybody puts their all in it. The crowd's gonna respond, and so I haven't. I mean, I love wrestling at FWE. It's so it's a fun show. So I highly advise anybody if you haven't checked it out yet, you absolutely should. 
I've it's really cool because I keep going places and hearing people ask me about it and it's really awesome that there's a buzz going around because it should be I mean everybody should check it out at some point or another you absolutely should whether you're you know watching it online or you're going there live it's something that you should do at least once it's a lot of fun well as I said to you off the air I've actually flown to like, to like the last three shows at the FWE yes. and the crew there are amazing as you say they the are, they are, amazing. are they're on top of it Jordan's yeah. amazing the, the, the guy that runs it and they're so welcoming as well like you know every, absolutely it's, 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 I think I I don't think because I know that they were saying they told me that like the F is family you know the F and FW is family and I because Joey's there now he's kind of trying to take the family out of it which I don't know how thrilled they are about that but um I feel more like it's one of the few places that I go and I just I feel like I'm being taken care of I don't feel like I'm just there to do a job it's like I, I actually feel a part of this you know somewhat a family and it's it's a really nice place just from I mean as a wrestler it's a great place to be and they it's you're right they absolutely they take care of everybody they make sure you know everything is the way it should be I mean it's they have it down I mean and and there it's still everything is always a work in progress but considering I mean they have it down they have a lot. They I mean it's a it's a really good thing. It's gonna be a really good thing too. And they were. I I, I did tell you, you know, they were trying to go to Cali for a show, but that kind of didn't didn't, didn't happen. But they are going back to New yeah. York. Yeah, yeah. That's still going. I mean, it's still going to be a show. It's just not going to be, um, in California just yet. But it will be. Well, that... I have faith in it. I have faith that it will be. There's still time. In time. Okay. In time. Now, one, one thing that, WrestleMania is coming I'm, up. That, I'm, that I'm excited to be about is, go on, oh. like I say, you are going to be at FWE, but later this month, you're coming to England. Yes, I am. Um, for Southside. Yes, Joey and, and I how, both are. <laughs> and how, excited, how excited are you to return to Southside? Oh, we're, we're very excited. It's Again, it's a, the last time we were out there, we were treated like family, and it was just amazing, and all the fans are just, it's so awesome. Every time I meet fans, um, and I, it's, it's, a very humbling experience. I, I'm shocked anytime I go somewhere and anybody knows who I am, let alone going overseas and having people. So, I mean, we're really, ex- like, Joey and I are both very excited about it and we can't wait to go over there. And this, no and this time, this time, <laughs> I, this time I will actually introduce myself because la- last time I spoke to Joey, but I, I'm not going to lie, I was too shy to, t- to say hi to you. But I, I did speak to Joey. So Joey knows who I am. <laughs> but next, but I will say hi next time oh, I, I see you. Yes, please do. But uh, as I said, look, no limits. This this Saturday, you are going to defend your title against Raider Scott, who, like I say, I think might be a challenge for you. I, I like. Do you have any like final words for for, for Raider he- heading into this Saturday? Oh, she she'd better be ready. I don't. I don't know. I mean, we've wrestled each other before. But I don't think she's had an opportunity to have me in a singles type situation and not not for a title that I'm not gonna let go. So she's she'd better be ready. That's all I can say. And she should be on her absolute best that night. And if you can't get down to Jamaica, New York, be sure to head over to FWSing.com. Yes. Please. I believe it's done I believe it's done by our uh, by our videos, but I'm not hundred percent sure, so just check them out on Facebook, on Twitter. Check out Candice on Twitter at Candice Lowe. Yeah. Um, say 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 hi. And well, yeah. after, after after the show, I'll do. I will tweet you the picture of, of you and I because um, we'll meet me yeah, and from the last show. And not only that, but see, can please. you can you go ahead and just like tell them, hey, you know, WrestleMania is coming up. Get to California. Just you know, tell you know, <laughs> push them for it. You know. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> And all the more reason to make it and make it out here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, uh, thank you, Candice. Hey, you. before we go, uh, can we get a liner real quick? What are we doing? <laughs> just like a, just like a voiceover saying, uh, "Hi, is Candice what Lerae. do you need me to say? <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> I quit. Bye. I'm done. Uh, just, just saying, like, <laughs> hi, this is Candace. You're listening to Running the Ropes uh, on the SNS Radio Network, or how, however you want to do it, just in your own words, kind of. 
Man, you're giving me a lot to remember, aren't you? I, I am. I have a... Just, Do you just, understand? I've been hit in the head quite a few times. <laughs> like this is your your asking you thinking just, of me right now. <laughs> just say hi. This is Candace. You're listening to Running the Ropes. <laughs> that's the if that's what, all you want to do. That's fine. So if I can just get hi, this is Candace Ray, <laughs> and you're listening to Running the Ropes, then we're good. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely fine. <laughs> do I need to say? Do I need to say Running the Ropes? Radio? Do I need to say? No, just I'm Running the Ropes. You. You're only spin. Do, add your own Candace to it. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it great. <laughs> yeah, I I have total I, faith in you. Oh, you cut me so, off. You gotta you you cut me off when I'm doing that. Sorry. <laughs> you guys. Okay, let's all calm down. I'm gonna do my thing. So let's all hold our breath for a second while okay. I try to do this and not mess it up and not trip and fall. Hi, this is Candice Lorray, and you're listening to Running the Rope. Is that right. good? Did That's, I ruin it? No, that is, is that absolutely par- perfect. Are you guys going to ask more of me? <laughs> <laughs> no, Candace, thank you. And uh, good luck at No Limits uh, on February 7th. And uh, Thank you. Kick, kick Veda Scott's and, ass, I, I guess. I, and I yeah. just tweeted I, I, I tweet out a picture on Twitter so you can see who, who okay. I am. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, and, I'll go check and, right and, now. <laughs> I, I will see you in, in a month's time and, at the website. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you much.